stay tuned for a giveaway. This is an infinite profitability trade up. And today I'm going to teach you about the seldom known trade up trick that makes this possible. At the end of this video, I'll be attempting the trade up for myself. Three, two, one, boom. But before I can do that, I first have to teach you how to get there. It's time for you to learn about the art of chaining. Chaining inputs is a relatively unknown trade-up trick that allows you to completely avoid the cost of the inputs that you need for a trade-up. As you can see, the reason that this trade-up has an infinite profitability is because we were able to get the 10 inputs completely for free. And the goal for today's video is to show you exactly how you can replicate this method for yourself. People are always asking me what the best marketplace is to buy and sell their skins on. Look no further because the answer is today's sponsor, GamerPay. GamerPay is the best peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website out there, and to prove it to you, they're even offering you a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro transaction. One cool feature they have is, on top of showing the GamerPay listing price, they also display the cheapest buff listing price for the item you're looking at so you can see how much of a discount you're actually getting. They also have a 0% buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee. So if you're looking for better prices than buff and 5 euros for free, sign up with my link in the description today. I know you're probably thinking, there's no way you can get skins for free, but just bear with me because I'm about to blow your mind. Let's start from the beginning. Before we can work our way up to that infinite profitability trade-up, we have to start from the bottom with this trade-up right here. This trade-up consists of 10 stat track field tested mil spec skins from the recoil case below a 0.1947 average float. Most of the stat track field tested mil spec skins from this case have a buy order price of 14 cents or less. So to get these inputs, just set up some buy orders and wait. Once you have enough inputs, that leads this trade up to cost $1.40 total and it has a 111.43% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit. As of right now, I'm sure this trade up looks like any old profitable trade up to you, but this is actually where the process of chaining begins. As you can see, this trade up has three profit outcomes and two outcomes that give us a loss. But what if instead of selling the loss outcomes, we keep them? Let me show you what I mean. Alright, let's assume we start with a balance of $10 and do this trade up five times. On average, we would get one of each output. If we sell the dragon tech downtown and vent rush that leaves us with a balance of $11.67. Now remember how I said we were going to keep the duallys in the R8? Well these are what the updated numbers would look like. As you can see, since we're keeping them, we have to set the price of them to $0, meaning we'd technically lose $1.40 per outcome since that's the cost of each trade-up. That means our balance on average after 5 trade-ups would be $8.87 plus the 2 skins that we kept. Now what if we did the same thing 4 more times? That would leave us with a balance of $4.35 in 10 skins. Now, remember how we started with $10 in our balance? Well, since we now have $4.35, that means we technically spent $5.65 to get those 10 skins that we kept, meaning that each skin cost us 56 and a half cents. But before I show you why that's significant, let's do a few of these trade-ups. All right, boys, we got a couple of these trade-ups ready to go. Let's see what we get. We want to see the Dragon Tech, but it's fine if we see the RA or the Duallys, but we obviously would like to see the profit outcomes. What's it going to be? First trade-up, three, two, one, boom. Boom. Hey, that's okay. That's profit right there. We're taking that. We're taking that all day. All right. What's it going to be for this one? Three, two, one. Boom. Hey, that's okay. Technically a loss, but we're going to chain that in the next trade up. So it's all good. Trade up number three, mil spec to restricted. Three, two, one. Boom. Let's go. Best outcome right there. That's like 70 cents of profit. We love to see it, man. We love to see it. All right. We just have a couple more of these to go. What are we going to see? Can we see back to back dragon text? That would be absolutely insane. Let's see it right here. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, it's okay. Still profit. We like to see it. Pretty cool P90 as well. Lots of depth to it. All right. Fifth and final mil spec to restricted. What's it going to be? Show us one more dragon tech. Gaben, please. Three, two, one, boom. Ah, uh, that's all right. That's all right. That's the other profit outcome. Still good right there. Still good. But we technically would have gotten one outcome to chain. So lots of profit here, but we also got a chain one. Okay, now remember how we calculated the price of those 10 skins that we kept? We are now able to throw them into this insane trade up right here. Since we got each input for 56 and a half cents, this trade up will cost us $5.65 total, and it has an insane 209.03% profitability after steam fees with a two and three chance to profit. You might have been asking yourself why the floats in the first trade 
straight up were so weird. But as you can now see, the reason was to get this AK-47 ice cold just barely into minimal wear condition, which is exactly what makes this straight up so profitable. Now, as you can tell, you could just do this straight up a bunch of times and make a lot of money on average, but that would be no fun since you'd never get the chance to see the infinite profitability trade up. So in order to move on to that final step, instead what you do is change the price of the sawed off Kislev and the P250 Visions to $0 since we're keeping those outcomes. On average, if we do three of these trade ups, we'd get one of each outcome. After selling the AK Ice Cold, that leaves us with $15.45 of profit, meaning that even though we keep the P250 and the sawed off, which would each cost $5.65, we'd still be left with $4.15 of profit plus the two skins, which quite literally means we're getting those outcomes for free. Now, before I show you the final step, let's do some of these trade ups. As I'm sure you can tell by the skins we have in here, these aren't the R8s or the Flora Carnivoras as I was talking about before. That's because I'm not actually chaining right now. I just wanted to show you guys the trade ups so you get the essence of it. But these were just the cheapest inputs I could find at the correct floats. So it is going to be the correct outcomes, but it's not the exact same inputs you would be using if you were trading up. Just wanted to get that out of the way so you understand what's it going to be though. Show us an AK Ice Cold. We want to see profit here. Three, two, one, boom. That's okay. Pretty much the break even outcome, but in this case, we're actually going to chain this beast right here. Second restricted to classified, show me an AK. Three, two, one, ice cold. Let's go, dude. That's profit right there. I love the ice cold trade ups as well. Love seeing that outcome. Anytime you see an AK drop from a trade up, oh, it's so nice, bro. Just gives me that feeling, man. Sheesh. Third and final, restricted to classified. Show us back to back AK ice colds. Three, two, one, AK. Uh, another visions, pretty much break even, but in this case, we would be chaining it. So let's see what the rest of the video brings. I'm giving away this minimal wear Mac 10 Disco Tech. To enter, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any comment. Also, make sure your Steam trade links in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. Back to the video. Alrighty, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's cook up that infinite profitability trade up. For the maximum amount of profit per trade up on average, you use six of the sawed off kiss loves that we got for free and four of the P250s. The P250s come out in a lower float and thus using four of those brings the average float down enough to make the USPS also come out in minimal wear condition. Obviously, you'd have to do an extra two sets of the restricted to classified trade-ups to get six of the sawed-offs, but that's okay because you can just sell those extra P250s you'd get for some more profit. Now, let's do one of these insane infinite profitability trade-ups. All right, boys, what's it going to be? The USPS is the most profit. Show me the USPS right here. Three, two, one, boom. I think I messed it up because I said boom and missed the click and had to click after. L luck, man. In the case of chaining though, this would still be profitable though. So I'm not upset for the context of this video, but the USPS would have been way, way better. Now stick around because I want to tell you one final thing about chaining. Before I end the video, I wanted to talk about the math behind the scenes. After all of my calculations and the help of Tech Savvy Scientist, I found that if you were to chain all the way up to be able to do two of these infinite profitability trade-ups, which by the way would be 938 total trade-ups, after all was said and done, you would profit $154.60. But if you were to just do the 900 mil spec trade-ups required to chain to that point, you'd profit $147.60. That is only an extra $7 of profit. So I guess the conclusion here would be if you truly have the time, money, and patience to do 900 of the mil spec trade-ups, I guess it's worth it to chain your way up to this infinite profitability trade-up. But realistically, no one is going to take the time to do 900 trade-ups, and that's really okay because you're clearly not losing out on much extra profit by just selling all of your outcomes right after doing one mil spec trade-up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of chaining and if this explanation made any sense. I know the math is confusing and I'm sure a lot of you will doubt it, but I promise it's true. Also, I'm sure you've heard either Tech Savvy or I talk about this in past videos, but I wanted to make this video to do an even more in-depth breakdown of how it works. Before you go, if you're looking for some extra weekly skin giveaways outside of what I do in the videos, come check out the Discord server. Outside of the giveaways, there are always hundreds of us hanging out in there, having a good time and chatting. So if you want to come hang out, check the link in the description. That's it for today though, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.